Hi there, my name is Riley. I am a final year medical student um, and I studied a Bachelor of Advanced Science Research um, majoring in Developmental Biology and Physiology before I went into the MD that I'm studying now. Um, during my Bachelor of Science, I went into it not really knowing what I wanted to do. I left high school kind of unsure of what I wanted to go into. I knew I liked medical sort of stuff. I knew I liked psychology. I knew I liked science communication. So I kind of went into science because I didn't know what I wanted to do. And being doing science allowed me to choose uh, from all the things that I wanted to do. It allowed me to pursue them for a little bit longer. Um, it wasn't until the middle of my second year that I decided I wanted to do medicine. And by that time, I had made sure that I'd done all my prerequisites, so I had was doing developmental biology and chemistry, and I was majoring in psychology at the time, but then I changed it to physiology or neuroscience. Um, I also then did the GAMSAT. I was lucky enough to sit the GAMSAT only once. I know that many people sit it multiple times, and I honestly believe that it is one of those things that's just a luck thing. Um, I set the GAMSAT because a few of the universities I went to, I wanted to go to, uh, required the GAMSAT. However, I also applied for Monash Med, which I knew didn't require a GAMSAT. So it wasn't really my main focus in sort of preparing for it. Um, in terms of my preparation, I just practiced random GAMSAT questions that I found online. <laughs> um, in order to keep my motivated and keep my wham up, I didn't really focus on the numbers. Uh, something amazing about science was that everyone was doing it for different reasons. And so there was not really an air of competition. I found that I was studying with a bunch of other people that were passionate about what they wanted to study. And it was just that passion alone that kind of get me through it. Um, it's quite foreign to me, the idea of thinking about my co colleagues or my other people studying science as competitors. And I felt that within science, I was able to work collaboratively and as a team, and there was never any competition of who got the best score or that sort of stuff. In a non-colluding way, we, or plagiarism way, we very much shared and helped each other get through. And I think that really helped me both academically, but also interpersonally, which gets to my other point that by studying science, I was able to explore. I did some bioethics. I did some biochemistry, which I would have never have done. I did developmental biology and I really enjoyed it. So now I actually am a teaching associate for demo uh, or a demo for developmental biology. Um, which is something that I had no idea existed um, and it became my major. I also was able to explore these other things such as outside of uh, science. So I was involved with the science community. I was involved with some of the uh, student societies and stuff like that. And it allowed me going into my med applications, particularly the med interviews with a holistic approach. Um, a lot of the med interviews ask you for life experiences and things that you have learned through life. Uh, they call them essential skills, so things that you need to interact with people and therefore future patients. And I found that by doing science, I was able to get a holistic picture and do things that like a lot of students who were quite academic focused didn't really get. Um, I don't think that I had the best scores in the world, but I think that I was able to have a holistic picture. I was able to know what people are like and interact and navigate people that and that sort of helped me get that edge in applying for medicine. In terms of any advice for any people studying medicine, I would say to focus on looking at everything around you, looking at things that everyone else does, follow your passions, because med is a lifelong journey and it's also a person focused thing. So whilst the academics sort of matter, knowing you one, want to do it, and two, uh, have the passion and interest in it, being able to interact with people, being able to explore your other interests are important too. And they actually lead to be a better doctor. If you are able to interact with people and interact with patients, you will be able to better give care than someone who only knows the theoretical basis of diseases.